What's up, little bitches? Hello, I'm here for another video diary. Shout out to all of my millions of subscribers, millions of viewers, and millions of dollars is coming from my YouTube thing that I get paid passively and residually on. I thank you. You know. Um. Yeah, man. So I leave to go home. Um, on Tuesday, it's currently April fourth. 9.56 Cape Town time. And oh my God, where do I start? What, what did I say? Oh, oh my God. I was talking to you about the men. That's what I was talking about. Um, so, actually, it's been a lot of men <laughs> on my line. You know what I'm saying? I put my hinge on Louisiana and I've just been getting this attention. Like, I, I don't think I've ever been like called beautiful so much by american men maybe you know what maybe it's because i just don't remember I, I don't know but i just feel like this new energy but also that makes sense i've been putting in the fucking work on myself to change how i'm seen by men and you know men like look you know a couple of men talking about when you want to have a date you know you know just approaching me and handling me correctly um you know you, i got choctaw so right now on my line i have Choctaw, the dude, the American from France, I haven't talked to him since whenever I made that video. But he said he didn't, he, I'm not gonna talk to him consistently, so it's nothing wrong with that. Uh, as long as he around when I'm going to France, you know what I'm saying? But I like him a lot, he was really dope, you know. I, I'm excited to talk to him again. Um, oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, this is annoying when shit gets on my glasses. Hold on. This is why I won't lace it. There's always some shit on my fucking glasses. I don't even feel like wiping them off. Fuck it. Anyway, so... Where was I? Okay, so the men on my line right now. Okay, we have Choctaw. I'm still talking to him. I met this new dude. I'm going to call him Opelousas because that's where he lives. It's a small, weird-ass town in Louisiana. Got Opelousas. Uh, who was very much, you know, very into me, very enthusiastic about me. You know, talk about he's he really not a, he's applying good pressure. He's making it very clear that he's very interested and wants me to be back. So take him on a date. Great. Uh, then I have um, my black Spaniard. Okay, so he's an African who lives uh, in Louisiana. He speaks Portuguese and Spanish, and I'd be practicing my Spanish with him. Um, and he's lived like all over. Like he's lived in Angola, he's lived in uh, in, in Portugal, in Portugal. He's lived in different parts, and so that's why I can deal with him because I, uh, you know, I don't fuck with no African who ain't never left Africa. I don't even really, really don't want to do nothing to do with no damn Africans. Period. But if you're gonna be African, you know, okay, okay. No, I take it back because obviously a lot of people in, in in Europe are like African. Look. Just if you if you didn't if you got if you westernized okay but Africans is just African fuck all y'all y'all are cool homies but I'm not ever dealing with y'all again y'all stupid okay so uh, so we got him and you know I'm liking these dudes you know what I'm saying they all have oh and speaking of there is a uh, Apalusa text me right there and then I just love having niggas on my phone like I have niggas on my line like I wake up to two three fucking it's like this flood of men have come in you know and they all are you know giving energy and i got this other dude that i haven't started talking to off of hand yet he's poly and we're gonna see how that goes you know what i'm saying so i'm just enjoying that energy um so that's nice so i feel like i have gotten some type of response from source around men because these men are western they give an energy. They're excited for me to come back. They give me attention. That's nice. You know, we're going to see how things go when I get there. But all I can do now is be in appreciation of the men on my line. So right now, uh, I, I FaceTimed Opelousas. And um, I need to FaceTime. I wanna fa I'm want to. i really interested in FaceTiming that, um, what's his name? Uh, that damn, that damn black Spaniard. Okay, I love his voice. He sounds so sexy when he speaks Spanish. I want to FaceTime him and see how he see what's up with him. You know what I'm saying? See if I'm gonna the vibe is gonna be there. He texted me this morning, but we haven't texted him much today. You know, we'll see. I'm just you know happy that I got niggas on my line because my phone has been drier than motherfucking the Sahara Desert's pussy. Okay, it's been whack. All right, so we're happy that that is um, going on now. Um, so. 
I really want to talk about yesterday and today and career stuff, right? Like, okay, because like, actually, it's really interesting because after the last video, the next day, I wasn't really feeling like all that. I was feeling a, my vibration low, was a little bit lower. Um, I started, I think I started kind of feeling, still fighting, you know, still processing how I feel about my ex, which is what I'm still working on. But something very beautiful happened last night and to, so yeah, and, and today. So yesterday, I rode my bike and I found myself thinking about my ex like more than usual. It's a default setting. Like for years, my a comfort, a, what brings me comfort is thoughts of my ex. Is reminiscing about our time together. That just is like a comfort place that I go to in my mind. But I have been working to change that. I don't want to keep thinking about him. It's really not going, like thinking about him the way that I did. It used to be all obsessive. You know what I'm saying? But now, every now and then, so if, if my mind is idle, it just default goes there. There's nothing wrong with that. I programmed it that way and I'm in the process of reprogramming it to go to something else. Like I want my default setting to be thinking about me being a best selling author, think about my YouTube channel blowing up, to think about an actual man that actually is not going to hurt me. Like I don't really want to give energy to him. So I noticed that yesterday. And so then I ended up like, like last night, I remember thinking about him and those very strong euphoric feelings of love started coming back I'm like I don't really want to feel that way about him because that is not really where I want to be for years that's that was my you say I'm in a vortex when I think about him but I really don't want to associate him with euphoria because it's not good for somebody like me okay this is a whole addiction you have to think about this like an addiction uh, I don't want to start thinking uh, alcohol doesn't need to start thinking about the euphoric feelings of having a drink because you're going to break your sobriety while I'm not going to act on this I just can't I don't need to be doing that so anyway I had a dream about him again last night and I in the dream I can't remember details but I remember I, my feelings was hurt up in the dream he either rejected me or something like that so I woke up with anxiety the same anxiety I used to have whenever me and him were together because I used to always wake up with with anxiety around him like either nervous or scared worried about whether he would be whether I wake up with a text message with him or not worried about whether he was okay because his life was always in danger and shit like that because of his stupid ass ex-girlfriend and threatened to kill him and all that shit just you never you would never you would you don't even know the drama one day I'm gonna give you the whole thing but like he was just it was just anxiety and um you know, my abandonment issues had me incredibly anxious because I needed him to keep his word and to, and to, and to, and to be attentive to me when I woke up in the morning for me to get messages and shit from him and all of that. And more often than not, I didn't have any, any message from him waking up, even when we could talk directly. Um, and I just, it, it just him in general creates a very intense anxiety for me or some of the strongest anxiety that I've like ever experienced so much so that whenever he was supposed to come to Columbia and didn't uh and you know he was blocked I would still wake up with anxiety like just stomach feeling weird just just like like just fucking afraid like that's all anxiety is. anxiety is a fancy word for fear just scared and um so it was like that this morning I woke up like several times like anxious you know and a beautiful thing occurred though like i was like so gentle with myself it really makes me want to cry a little bit when i think about when i think about it because not a cry out of sadness because i was anxious but just to cry because i really somewhere in my psyche i treated myself how to want a man to treat me so if I wake up and I'm having an anxiety attack for any reason, I don't give a fuck if it is because of my ex. I don't give a fuck what it's about. I would want my man to be so gentle and like loving and understanding to me and to hold me tight. So like I gave myself that energy. Like I imagine a little girl in a fetal position and I'm like, like, like I, like if I, when I think, I don't know, it just makes me emotional. Because when I think about the aerial view of me in the bed, scared, because I still have trauma from that relationship, 
and I think about the things I was saying to myself. I was saying things like, it's okay, Sydney, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You know, for the last three years, you've been emotionally wrapped up in this. Even though y'all have gone several months without talking. You've still been there and, and you're, 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 you're breaking this and you know, it's okay. So you, you, you were emotionally abused for like three years. You were emotionally abused and, um, I don't know. for me to give myself that kind of compassion. is heartwarming for me because normally it would be I would be berating I would be still thinking about him you still dream about him you still you know I would be doing that that would be what was going on in my head but I didn't even do any of that I was so soothing every time I, I, I wake up like I'll wake up like feeling like that and some part of me that I've only been able to access through this dedication to this meditation was kind to me like I was kind to myself about it I didn't judge the fact that I was thinking about him still I didn't judge the fact that I dreamt about him I didn't judge the fact that I woke up anxious I didn't judge the fact that shit I could still love him on some level I didn't have any of that all I had was compassion was understanding for myself like Sydney it's okay like it's okay it's okay like it's okay we're gonna address this this is good this is good I'm glad that these feelings are coming up because you're gonna address those head on in your meditation today like you needed this. You need this to come up. It's okay. You can fix it. This meditation has empowered me in a new way. Like I feel like I can address and face and fix anything with this. And it was a beautiful moment between me and me. And I honestly felt sorry for myself, but not in a in a way that it may that I'm sounded like I, I just felt so much compassion. I felt like. I, but a part of me did feel just sorry for myself like poor baby like you poor baby like you literally I don't know I didn't deserve I didn't deserve that how I was treated did not deserve that I didn't deserve to be I didn't deserve to be treated like that. I didn't. I don't. All right, so just sitting with that for a second. So I felt it was a beautiful moment. I did. Um, so I knew what I needed to do in my meditation. Um, I don't know, y'all, something about that moment just really is, is touching to me. It's just poor baby like poor baby like poor innocent sweet baby like that's how I felt about myself like poor baby like
and that's exactly how my man's going to treat me. And I'm going to tell him, like, I may sometimes have anxiety because of this situation. And he's not going to judge it, feel intimidated. It's just going to be love. So I'm practicing. That's why all of these videos are called Manifested Him, even if the videos don't seem like they about manifesting him. I honestly feel like I'm growing through all of this to be my best self for me, number one, and also to present the best version of myself for him, like for the man of my dreams. Like I'm doing this work, you know, for us. I'm it's not just for me. It's the yeah, lie. It's not just for me. So uh, um So anyway, I ended up um you know, going and getting my acai smoothies and shit like that. Oh shit! Oh my god, I completely forgot to tell y'all. The day before yesterday, I was I had I was spent all day throwing up. When was it? Two Monday night, y'all. I was I ate something. I, I cooked some corn. I had some leftover corn. I made some chicken, and I ate some some of these uh, new dessert things. These oatmeal things I've been making from scratch. And I was just gassy and, and throwing up and shit. It was awful. But I was appreciate I was appreciative of my body for getting rid of shit that's gonna fuck up fuck up my health. So I, you know, I hate throwing up, but you know, I did that. So I had to cancel my nail appointment the next day. That shit was just whack. Anyway, so I had diarrhea again, and I looked up the metaphysical causes of diarrhea and nausea. Both had to do with fear of the new, you know, fear of the new running off things like that because you have to look at the metaphysical causes for everything so you can know what your body's trying to tell you somebody was trying to tell me i got fear and shit well you know that's understandable because i am you know pretty much over the phone sex training business i'm so i'm really tired of it i've been tired of it for a while but like i'm like feeling like just fuck everybody <laughs> you know what I'm saying but I think I'll make it a separate video versus getting into it in detail here oh uh, anyway so where am I okay so anyway so I did my meditation so today's meditation y'all was so powerful so powerful <sighs> mm, I almost have chills thinking about that meditation that meditation was so powerful so Again, the big, the, the the main thing of the meditation is being very clear, like confessing to source energy who you've been. And I confess that I've been scared. I've been having anxiety. I still feel some type of connection. I still, you know, part of me still wants to hear from him every now and then. You know, I just really confessed. I confess that I've been how I've been around money too. Like I'm doing both, but I'm gonna make the money video separate. I feel like I make that separate. So I just confessed and then like, oh my God. Like it's hard for me to describe what I experienced in these meditations. It's very difficult to describe it. But I know that I in my meditation I found my power back and I couldn't really speak that loud in the beginning. Like it was I was such a little girl. Because I remember how I was feeling when I was like having anxiety when I woke up. And um, um, I just, um, I don't know y'all, I, I, it's, it's so difficult, it's just, it's, it's a challenge to describe to y'all what happened. I just was, <sighs> so when I'm in deep meditation. My head will bob. It'll, my head will do all kinds of shit that I can't duplicate. Like, my head will bob. You can tell when source is moving my head. Like, I'm not bobbing my head. That's one thing I'll know that's happening when I'm making a connection with source. And then, like, I don't know how to describe it, but my, my, all of this feels like, all of this nose to my lip feels very, like, inflated. It's, it's just strange. I don't know how to describe it. And, like, I remember when I was confessing the version of myself I no longer wanted to be out loud. It was the tiniest little voice. I can't even duplicate it. It was. It was weird, and I couldn't control that. And I was like, okay. And then I, I, and then like after that, 
you say who do you want to be and I got into that you know and I just felt so amazing after the meditation again the meditation you just you, you, you just got to be there you have to be in my mind when I do it I don't know how to describe it to y'all man I just know this meditation has been saving my life I don't know what I would have done without this meditation I have no idea how I could have gotten through this how I can get through the day I don't know what I would have done how I could handle that call it what you want but him having somebody else was a, a thing it was hard for me and just you know all of that shit so it's just really I don't know what I've done without this meditation the meditation is just definitely um saving my fucking life so after the meditation I went and rode my bike came back cooked ate and you know that's that so here I am talking to y'all I also um I fucking need to make a career I need to like make a I don't know y'all I don't know should I blend it all together or should I make separate videos because the thing is like this video diary so I guess I'll just discuss everything um so yesterday I had a customer get on my motherfucking nerves she tell me oh she want to get a $500 phone sex package I'm like all right then she said oh I'm just gonna do the 150 one I'm like that was annoying but whatever bitch okay and so then we give it a pack. I, she, we, we, I, we, we, she paid via Cash App. Okay. I'm like, I right, cool. Create an account on the site. And then we'll be able to add you. But you have to create, create a free account on the site. It's telling me my email's already been in use. I said, well, I don't know what to tell you about that, bitch. Create another email. Obviously, I'm being, I'm not saying bitch. I'm, but I'm like, I, right. mm, I don't know. I'm getting scared. I think I want my money back. So my first instinct, when, when motherfuckers are going to be annoying and stupid, I will, I will gladly give a refund if you're going to be getting on my fucking nerves. Especially if you haven't even accessed the product yet. And I was like, you know what? No. I'm trying to try to be patient. Because, like, my patience be, like, low. Like, y'all think I'm like, hee, hee, No. Like, I don't really, like, I hate stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch. Like, and number one, and, I st and I'm sitting there getting notifications that you created the account. And so let me create the account. Bitch, you're stupid. You created the fucking account, you dumb ass, dumb, stupid bitch. Like, you're a dumb ass bitch. I hate you. You're stupid as fuck. Let me go to the messages and show y'all what the fuck this is. I hated her. Bitch from New Orleans. Just a stupid ass bitch. Like, I could not stand her. Like, I can't. Oh my God. I really want to cuss her out. Like, okay, so then. Okay, so just. Okay, let's see. Okay, so send the money. It's telling okay, this thing telling me my email address been used already in the account. I said we'll use another one. Wow, I'm getting a little nervous. How come it, I'm not able to do nothing? I said okay, email tech support. Even because if something's going on, email tech support, and she and she will definitely be able to help you. He just sent back the money. I ignored that because I hated the bitch. And then I sent her screenshot of her account being created. I said, is this your account? Yes. I said, so there's no issue. Yeah, it's me. It's not letting me make the account though. Now what? I said, I just resent, bitch. I just sent you email tech support, stupid. And then she said, okay, what do I do now? I just got back. So I had to go back on there. I said, I'm sending you, I said, I'm sending you your email to the tech team and they'll man you will add you. Expect an email within 12 hours. I gave you the tech support email above. That's where the email will come from. I always tell people that we'll give us 12 hours to manually add you to a course. The girl usually gets it done within like 30 minutes. But I overpromise, underpromise, overdeliver. That's what I do. Okay. And um, and she, she said, wow. I said, once you're in the course, you have everything you need. Everything is at your own pace. So I have to wait. I said, what's not clear? I gave, I give my team ample time to get back to clients. You fucking stupid ass bitch. Just like the post office when they say they'll deliver something within three to five business days. Oftentimes it comes sooner than that. It's just basic shit, bitch. You're fucking dumb. I hate you. I hate you a lot. Like it's already two o'clock in the morning. Like I'm already don't even really feel like talking about it, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it for you and you're getting on my motherfucking nerves. So I just spent my money and now I have to wait. I don't understand what's going on. I said, okay, we're sending you a refund. And she said, yeah, you can send it back to the same cash app. I said, I'm blocking you. You will never waste my time again. You will not pay to get on my nerves. So respect people's time and energy. What the fuck? So I blocked this stupid ass bitch from my fucking Facebook and I blocked her from the site. I hate her with a passion. And that really 
see everything is telling me to be done with this business because i'm tired of i'm tired of everybody i'm tired of y'all i'm tired of begging people to see what they can do i'm tired of some people ain't got no money I'm, I'm tired of it i'm tired okay this is not even my motherfucking passion i'm not passionate about helping people with phone sex it's just something that makes sense for me to help people it's rewarding when people are making money it is i love it it is very rewarding i've changed a lot of lives but bitch this is not what i'm putting this earth to do it's do this i'm putting i'm putting this earth to be famous to be an author to do so much more with my time and energy i'm tired of all of y'all the people have been wasting my motherfucking time in the motherfucking dms wasting my time getting on my motherfucking nerves okay if i could let me tell you if, let's say if my youtube channel blew up today and i was making enough money i would say fuck all y'all and completely shut down that fucking business i'm tired of it i've been tired of it for uh, for years actually I, and i have to constantly every month get the motivation to talk about this shit because i'm tired of it but but that's what i'm working on in meditation my own limiting beliefs i think oh this is the only way because it's been sustaining me for so long like it's been i've been making money from teaching people for so long that it's like this love hate thing it's like okay i love it because it's easy and all that but it ain't been feeling easy lately it's been feeling like a fucking drill job like i'm i, I don't like following up people talk follow up motherfuckers time to motherfuckers not keeping their word missed anyway so it really makes me want to get on my youtube shit even more i just really and that's why that's why i'm really glad that i'm going home i need to regroup i want out of this business so that means i have to have another income stream that's going to replace it it may take time to build thank you for my mom because i'm telling you i'm tired of it okay i appreciate everyone who has bought for me if in one of my customers i love you and i have really honestly for the most part i have very easy amazing customers but you get the stupid ones that make you fucking sick all right so i really want to unblock the bitch just to cuss her out a little bit more like i don't feel like i said what i wanted to say um you know she just did it's just i hate her Ooh. anyway so so we have um, about five more days here in Cape Town. Uh, I'm making a point to ride my bike every day so that I can, um, you know, just really appreciate it, you know, because this is my favorite place to cycle so far. And, you know, I'm really focusing on that. I feel like I got some relief around my love life. I feel like, okay, I asked for some shit. Now I got men. Okay, great. So now I had to put my same energy towards money because I have not been feeling motivated, been feeling burnt out. Uh, burnout is real ask any entrepreneur i'm feeling burnt out unmotivated feeling like i really you know i'm feeling all of that shit and so your income takes it takes it takes a toll when you're not feeling it like it is it's a whole thing that a lot of entrepreneurs go through i have entrepreneurs friends we talk about it all the time we have to build each other up you know my home is our entrepreneur i have a girl who's in a close friend who's in fitness and she feels the same way like she's so burnt out with like doing it and the constant shit that she has to do and we be having to build build each other up so i'm really looking into other ways to make money and also um you know, I hadn't been motivated to do anything. I even work on my book, y'all. Like, I mean, this, the daddy issue stuff, the stuff that I've been talking about him at, on here has really been taking a toll on everything. It is very difficult for me to maintain motivated and stay on my shit with business when I am emotionally distraught. I don't know how to do it. The way I've been feeling, I haven't had any space to even think about money, to even have the the energy of the fire to make to really go out there and build a I have a business I have not had it like I just have not had that energy I'm my energy is freed up a little bit more now you know what I'm saying it's freed up more now because I've done network but I can't handle both which is why another reason I'm going home you know what I'm saying I need to go home and regroup and, and, and focus and get my body together it's like it's like everything is like coming together like coming happening at one time for me and i'm just so happy to have a mother who is beautiful and loving and i can stay as long as i fucking want in a comfortable beautiful home and i get to really focus on my shit without having to worry about anything so i think that that's really great because this is a transitional period for me in every regard i'm about to transition my body have a whole fucking hernia surgery and transition my body to something else 
okay then i'm transitioning career-wise because i want out of the phone sex business i'm like tired of fighting with myself like on it like i'm tired of like acting like this is what i really want to be doing it's not i want to be in my creative bag i want i want to paint shit and get my i want to get my prints and, and ross shit you know what i'm saying like i want to really be doing things that i really that i really give me excitement to do i want my i want this youtube page rolling i want like you know five figures a month off of youtube pages i want facebook i mean i want i want to be a paid content creator but i also want to figure out a way to get that passively and residually done like i want that you know um you know um I just do, you know, I want, if it, I want somebody else to run the business, but I don't even know if I want to get anybody else to, to run mobile money. I just really think I just want to be done with the shit. You know, that's how I feel about it. Um, you know, I'm trying to maintain my appreciation and all that shit, especially since we got to sell and I want the money, but it's rough. You know what I'm saying? It's rough for me to like to, to do what it takes because the burnout, like I'm, ah, I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? And so it's just a lot you know that I have to do and I make all the transition in my love life transitioning from my old self to my new self and figuring out what that's like you know what I'm saying like getting used to men giving me this giving me consistent attention you know what I'm saying getting used to this shit like I am like changing in every regard of my life and it'd be nice to not have to worry about paying you know a few grand in bills every month for myself it, I'm, I'm excited to go my ass home where I ain't got to do that where I can really just focus I can build this YouTube channel will not feel rushed I can recover from my surgery and I have to worry about anything I am so appreciative for my motherfucking mother you know we already got doctor's appointments like I'm I got I got approved for my for the health care so my ass that's my mom already made the doctor's appointments I got a, a, a doctor's appointment to see about the hernia I think on the 12th and then a gynecologist situation on the 19th i want to get dermat i want to get all of my health and shit like i'm getting everything taken care of there and you know when i go to paris i'm gonna have you know the money that i want i'm gonna have like a different i want something different y'all to do something different and um yeah you know because everything is pointing to get out of this business for me Everything is pointing to you have to come up with another way to make money. You know what I'm saying? I have not been impressed with sales all year. Because, I mean, again, number one, I've been struggling. You know what I'm saying? Especially this month. No, especially March. March, I struggled emotionally and mentally quite a bit in March. You know what I'm saying? Um, cried so much. I felt like I was... I cried so much in the month of March. I was crying so much. And, um, I'm doing better now though, y'all. Like, I mean, today I felt, I felt great. Like I, I, I did like, if I can have a day where I'm not thinking about my ex and, and, and I can just, and I can do that, then that's good. Like, you know, cause I'm literally fighting. I've been fighting, you know, for my joy. Y'all know that y'all been watching this shit, like fighting, but it's paying off and the meditation is key. So that's it. So today is Friday, Thursday. So tomorrow, I think I'm going to go and ride my bike with my personal trainer who I really want to see. Uh, I'm, th- I'm going to get my lashes and shit done. I need to make that appointment. I need to get my hair redone. I need to get all my beauty things done before I go home because I'm going to be going out on dates. It's not going to be like mother time. Like I got niggas ready to come see me. You know, my, you know, it's going to be great. So I need to be sure that I'm looking my best. And I guess I want to leave y'all with. If you fight for it, you're going to get it. Like, I, I honestly, I haven't really been caring very much about money. Like, I'm start, I'm trying to get myself to start back caring. I have just been caring about, let me get through the day without feeling impossible sadness. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let, we ain't been that impossible. Let, let me get through the day without lamenting over my fucking ex. Like, let me get happy. I haven't even been able to have the energy to focus on money, really. Like, I've been like, look, I got enough. Like, look. I ain't broke like but you know we got to keep building you know what I'm saying so <sighs> that's it y'all I want to thank y'all if you, if you if you made it to the end of this video and you've you watched uh, if you, you know say put porcupine in the comments if you made it to the end of the video because I just want to be sure that y'all are here and um, I love y'all very much and I'm about to work on editing my book and I will 
See y'all soon.